Hey, what's up guys? John from The Lucky Needle, and I wanted to talk to you today about another tool that I really love. This tool actually was originally designed for woodworking, um, but I have used it for uh, quite a few things in upholstery, and it's really a huge time saver. The tool is called um, a point-to-point -point tool, and it's from a company called Empower, and essentially, it's this little accordion that allows you to lay out points equidistant from each other. And it saves you a ton of time instead of measuring everything out and calculating exactly you know, where all your points need to be. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the ways that I use this. There's about three key ways that I use this and it saves you a ton of time. I think every trimmer should have one of these in their toolboxes because it is so valuable. So I'm gonna show you guys on a couple of these pieces here how I use these. All right, so one of the main purposes that I use this tool for is plotting out screw holes or even um, like door panel clips. So like if you have a door panel and you want to, you have you know your two clips at the end and you want to make sure you evenly space all of them, it's really, really super simple because before what I would do, you know, is you take your ruler and you measure the, the distance between and then you divide it by how many screws you want to put in or how many holes you want to put in. But with this thing, you can actually visually see, right? So like you just line each point up with your end to end here. If you want that many screws, you can put them in that many, but this thing will open a lot wider so that you can do say three screws in between there. And that and then you don't have to pull your calculator out. You don't have to measure anything, right? So that, Say that's what you wanted. Uh, there's two ways you can go about marking these. I typically just use the points of all these tips here for most of what I do. So then, you know, if you're gonna screw a bunch of, put some screws in here or door panel clips or literally anything, you know, you just mark it exactly like that. And then you know that all of these are spaced nice. It's gonna look visually really professional. That's what I love about this because it just takes your work to such a higher level of professionalism and it's super, super easy and super quick. Another thing you can do is say, you just wanna find the center of something. A lot of times you just need to find the center of something. So you'd have to measure whatever this is and divide it by half. Well. If you just use this this point to point thing, you put each one on there, that's always your center right there. Super quick, that took seconds to, to figure that out. That's what I love about this tool is it makes everything so much quicker. The other thing, one of the other things that I use this for a lot that um, I actually didn't find this tool until quite a ways into my upholstery career, and this could have saved me a lot of time, is um, pleats. Whenever you're laying out pleats, typically what you do is you come in and you measure, depending on, you know, after you've figured out your, you know, shrinkage and everything, when you come in to measure the, put the sew lines on, you know, maybe it's two inches, maybe it's two and an eighth, whatever it is, you know, you come, you measure, you mark out each point on both sides of the fabric, two inches, two inches, and then you come and connect the lines, right? Well, with this thing, this tool, what you can do, and it does, this tool isn't, it's not machine precise, so you have to account, you have to realize that, right? So um, you can see, these little screws, they they're they lock it in place, but there's still some slop in all the joints, so it can kind of vary a little bit. So what I try to do when I'm doing, trying to be extra precise for pleats, is I'll get it, say I want two inch pleats. I'll get it lined up on two inches and then I'll tighten these and then 
I'll try to make it so that it, you have to adjust it sometimes. So like, see how it, it's, it's not two inches anymore when you get to here. Um, so you'll have to, you just kind of have to play around with it a little bit, but typically, If you lock it in place and then you kind of stretch it a little bit, then it'll get nice and even for you. Pretty much like, like that right there. And then what you can do, instead of having to measure every single one out, you just come, mark all your points, and you're good to go. So this thing's a huge time-saving tool for you and I suggest everybody, every trimmer should have one of these in their box and they should definitely utilize it when they can. Like I said, it's not super, super extremely precise, but it is a huge time saver, especially when you're marking out screw holes or things on say like a, like a trim piece that you need to install and it's gonna have visible screws. You wanna make sure they're all, you know, nicely spaced because even even if it's on the back side of stuff I'll still use this like say for example like on hog rings on the back side of a seat sometimes I'll use this mark it out and try and put a hog ring on each one of the marks right even though you're not going to see it if anybody does they're going to flip that over and they're going to think a machine did it but really it took you no no more than a couple seconds to just mark it out with this. So this will really, really elevate your level of professionalism and how all of your projects look. So I suggest, definitely suggest purchasing one of these. I'll put a link in the video description. Um, and uh, this is, again, it's something I recommend every trimmer has in their toolbox. It's not just for woodworking. There's probably a lot more uses for this than I'm explaining in this video, but those are the the three common uses that I use this for. Um, I hope that helps. Make sure you subscribe for more tips and tricks like this video, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.